going on everyone? Hope everyone has a great start to 2024 and a great New Year's. Today we're going to be doing our 20th vlog and our first video of 2024. And we're going to be, just going to be showing you guys some of the animals that we produced in 2023 that are most unique looking. These aren't necessarily the most gene packed animals, but just the coolest ones that we picked out from the year that we have left here still. Um, some of them are holdbacks, some of them are still for sale, but we'll get right into that. Make sure you guys drop a comment down below after the video and tell me what one your favorite is. And make sure you like, share, subscribe, and we're going to get right into it. So this is the first snake we're going to look at. This is a banana black pastel possible heck clown boy. And again, we're not looking at snakes that are the most gene packed animals we made, but just some of the cooler looking animals that we produced. When you take away all their genetics and you're just looking at it for what it is um, in person, this thing's got a lot more of a, like a, almost a look like a washed out color along the back. It looks a little bit darker on the camera, but banana and black pastel work so well together. You get these super deep oranges with this really nice purple that comes along the dorsal stripe. This one was born with a couple of its black dots actually. Typically they grow in more as they get older, but just a really cool looking animal. These are the types of animals that are really good for, for shows and just for people getting their first pets or their first snakes. They're really eye catching and just one of the cooler things to see crawl out of an egg when you see that super vibrant color. It's, it's really cool. But yeah, really liked how this one turned out. So second snake that I'm going to show you is a pastel pied, that's possible het lavender female. I think this one's going to turn out to be het lavender. It's got that really bright eye stripe, which I've seen with the, the het lavender stuff. So I'm putting my bets on this one. I'm going to keep it as a hold back. I just really like the pixelated look in this one. It almost looks like someone took a, a racer to it. It's kind of washed out, but still got really deep oranges in certain spots. Just an overall really, really cool looking animal. It kind of just grabs your eye. When this thing first came out of the egg, I thought it might have Orange Dream in it, but I'm almost confident it does not have Orange Dream. But it's still a really cool looking animal. Just, again, just something when you walk by a table or you open up a bin, it's just, it's just nice to look at. Sometimes the less is more with some of these snakes where you, you start jacking up too many genes and they just kind of, they all eventually look the same. It's really cool just to look at some of the base genes and really appreciate them for what they are. So the third animal that I'm going to show you is something I've been wanting to produce for a few years. Anyone that has followed me at all knows I love black pastel and I think this is just a really cool, unique animal. This is a black pastel, Enchi, 100% het pied. This guy, it's just, it's got this really nice burnt orangey red color along the bottom of the pattern. And just, it's, it kind of is the perfect mixture between black pastel and Enchi. It's got a little bit of each of the best parts of each gene. You get the Enchi pattern with the black pastel really dark blacks, but then you get this really nice orange color. It's almost like the two genes are fighting against each other, but it turned out to be a really cool looking animal. It's got this really long gated pattern along the sides. Overall, just one of my favorite snakes that we produced all year. And again, nothing crazy. It's just a really unique, cool looking thing. An animal that I've been wanting to produce for a while and I think it just, it turned out exactly how I wanted it to. Really cool. And it gets oranger and it's almost red with every shed. It's a little bit more of that red color into it. It's like a burnt orangey red. Really, really cool. I really want to see this in the pied version. We thought we hit it this year, but it turned out not to be what I thought it was, so. This one's really cool. Would love to see this in pied. 
So those are our three favorite snakes from 2023. Be sure to check for next week vlog. We're going to be doing one every week going forward, hopefully for the entire year. But make sure you check back for that and enjoy your guys' week. Have a great day.